Hey there, good morning. This is Jack on my Apex training. It is Sunday, September 19th. Um, things are a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Uh, yes, I had surgery about a week and a half ago. This is my last surgery, my uh, wrist instability issue. Um, 30 years of weightlifting and I just, my orthopedist said that I have a hereditarily uh, longer ulnas than radii. So ulnas is the outer arm, forearm bone and the radius is the inner forearm bone. So he had to shorten it by X number of millimeters, plate it, and uh, it helps to reestablish um, stability with the remaining intact good ligaments connecting my wrist to my forearm. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, normally I, I would be seated, but I have my table kind of rigged up here uh, so that I'm standing. So it's an adjustable table. I decided to get rid of my bench. Too much sitting is what they call the new smoking nowadays. So yeah, I'm in my tank top, getting some vitamin D, walking around literally in circles in my cul-de-sac as a distance supervision of my children. My spouse runs some errands. So. Anyways, I just want to take a moment on my day and, and really thank each and every one of you for being so whole, wholeheartedly supportive of, of me and my injuries and my surgeries and Apex training. You know, so for those who figure out why does my logo look like a parking lot sticker, for those of you that work at Sutter, this does look like parking lot A sticker, doesn't it? But really what it stands for is when you lay down a stable foundation upon which you stand on, so your two legs, you can you can balance anything in your life. So that's what the logo means, you know? Get a solid foundation laid, whatever you can have to carry overhead, even more than your own body weight, you can do this. No kind of snatch and a clean and drip, right? So anyways, um, I was kind of thinking as I'm like trying to mitigate all these different areas of my rehabilitation of my injuries, and it takes a lot more time for those of that older athletes, it, it takes longer to warm up. Sometimes the warm up's longer than the they're doing the lifts and it just is, you know? Um, so I kind of thought, like, well, gosh, I'm already getting up at 5.30, maybe that's not early enough. And yes, that's true. It's not early enough when you have to spend two hours doing your rehab for two different injuries. So you gotta think of your brain as basically you're a farmer with a lot of acreage, okay? You have your flexibility parcel, you have your strength parcel, you have your uh, endurance parcel. So each uh, or orchard requires a certain amount of attention, right? You can't just focus all your attention on one and neglect the other areas because then what, you, you don't have a viable business. Same as with your body. You just can't do a bunch of cardio or a bunch of weight training and not have any lean muscle mass or any endurance. So it's a blend. So that's what I've kind of morphed into. Before it was all about all this heavy lifting and all this heavy eating and ah, go heavy and go home. But my mindset has changed. Uh, you know, the medical restrictions kind of help guide it that path. But don't let it change who you are. You always will be the athlete. Your foot says, oh, I uh, used to do this. I'm a retired that, you know. It's all, it's all still part of your identity. We're just in different phases of it. So I, I will always be that, that weightlifter, but now I'm more like the coach. Um, so I don't think we ever kind of retire out from our way of thinking. Our body will let us know, hey, bro, you just can't do this, do that anymore. And, and be okay, make your peace with it because the more stubborn you are trying to push through it, and, uh, you'll just end up having to double back and kind of repair things. So trust me on that. Anyways, with that said, just keep going forward. Get your 30 minutes of cardio every other day. Get your weight training. Please do your flexibility and warm-ups, okay? So there's no point in doing the lift if you can't maintain the proper position. Trust me on that. As a physical therapist of about 28 years and a, a, a retired competitive weightlifter, but I'm still a weightlifter in my brain. So anyways, you have any questions, you know, comment. Um, anyways, fist bump to each and every one of you. Holla, holla. All right, have a great day, guys. All right, bye.